You know what they say, guys? When it rains, it pours. And today we have some brand new news about a bunch of titles supposedly coming to Nintendo Switch 2. It's always exciting to me to obviously talk about the video games because ultimately platforms are great. And as excited as I am for Nintendo's next generation, the thing is, it doesn't mean anything if there aren't games. And today we have a spicy, amazing, wonderful rumor coming from an extremely reliable leaker about a ton of titles coming to Nintendo Switch 2. Now, in addition to that, we have an update on Hi-Fi Rush as well, which I'm tossing that one in here because that one is supposedly coming to Switch, which some people thought maybe that would be a Switch 2 title. So we're going to be talking about that as well. Before we dive in, I just want to remind you we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. If you're really enjoying these types of videos, I would appreciate a like. And hey, why not subscribe to the channel for more to keep you updated on all the latest things going on with Nintendo. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this. We're talking about Midori. For those who don't know who Midori is, she is an Atlas slash Sega leaker and has an extremely good track record. We're talking Pioro level track record, but for Sega and Atlas. And here's what we had happened a bit ago about this rumor. The new Jet Set Radio is not a remake, but an open world reboot, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and then, you know, then Midori comes in here. This is Midori's account. The new JSR title is a reboot that merges elements of both titles, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is all cool. It's targeting 2026. Now, this is all old stuff, right? This is old stuff a little bit, right? We've known about this for a bit. But then Midori came in and said, you know, it's a remake for Switch 2. This is correct information. Every Atlas and Sega remake is also releasing on Switch 2. So every Atlas and Sega remake, reboot, etc., whatever they're going to call these games, are coming to Nintendo Switch 2. Every single one of them. Now, you might go, well, okay, then Jet Set Radio remake, reboot, whatever they're calling it, that's obviously part of it. Well, guess what? We know a bunch of the titles already because Sega announced them literally during the Game Awards last year. Let's go take a look at this article over on Game Informer that recaps some of these titles. So as we go down here, announced via a sizzle reel in, in development footage, Sega revealed it was working on remakes of Jet Set Radio, Shinobi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Crazy Taxi, and more. So that is really what we're focusing in on are those games right there. And Look, we heard from, if you guys remember, Tom Henderson from Insider Gaming. He put out there last year, around September, that by September of this year, we were going to start to hear about a lot of games also coming to Switch 2. So they would have the reveal trailers or advertising trailers, and they would have PS5, Xbox Series, PC, but also Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever they call this next generation system. Now, of course... This is reliant upon Nintendo actually unveiling the platform, which hasn't happened yet. So if the platform is unveiled this year, then obviously it can't happen. But it's still fascinating to me how much third-party support appears to be in line for Nintendo Switch 2. Look, Nintendo Switch obviously returns some third-party support. We saw The Witcher 3 and you know other games like that, Doom, Doom Eternal, etc. A bunch of stuff, but... It still wasn't like getting all the most current games. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1 aside, although that was a bit of a weird launch on Switch. I just want to note that, hey, Nintendo Switch, while it got third-party support, it wasn't necessarily always getting the latest and greatest. Switch 2 appears to be much more in line, and in line enough to get third-party support. I think that's really, when I talk about like the power of the system and the specs, there's a lot of hopes and dreams there, but... Also, the biggest hope and the biggest dream is full day one third-party support. And stuff like this just furthers along that developers and, and third-party companies that have dev kits are very happy with what's going on with Switch 2 to the point that they're going to bring all these games over. That, to me, is just awesome. Now, all these games, you know, they're all set to be released in the future, so it'd be weird if they weren't on Switch 2, but still, that is the story there. Now, we're not done with our news stories here because one game that people thought might be Switch 2 instead of Switch from Microsoft was Hi-Fi Rush. And it turns out that actually Hi-Fi Rush is going to come to Switch. So we see over here from Gametsu, a Switch version of Hi-Fi Rush was rated by Peggy alongside the PlayStation 5 version today. And then they also talk about Risk of Rain 2. So if we open up the Peggy information here, we're going to see Hi-Fi Rush 
from ZeniMax Europe Limited Bethesda Softworks Europe. <laughs> That's a mouthful. But you see release dates and platforms, Xbox Series, PC, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation 5. Now, obviously, these are placeholder release dates. We don't know if these are true. Like, this is saying literally that Hi-Fi Rush is releasing today on Nintendo Switch. Uh, that is pretty crazy. If it's true, is it actually releasing today? Is there about to be a shadow drop announcement? I don't know. If there is, that announcement hasn't happened yet, but that doesn't mean that it won't happen. So I guess you could argue, hey, maybe there will be, or maybe these are just placeholder dates. Who knows? Uh, so that is just something to think about in the back of our minds, at least as we go into today, that Hi-Fi Rush might be shadow dropped today. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see if that actually ends up being the case. What I do know is it does appear Nintendo is going to be getting a lot of support when it comes to Nintendo Switch 2. And at this point, guys, we just need this thing announced. I, I think even for third party, we could get away from some of these rumors on third party games if they just announce the system because then the companies could announce the games. Uh, I think everyone in the industry is waiting for Nintendo to just remove the veil. And I think when we see rumors like this from Midori, that it's very obvious how many games are just literally sitting there waiting for Nintendo to be like, hey, let's finally show our new system and make everyone happy. And I think that includes their partners. Again, though, Nintendo's going to do what they want. They always, you know, go to the beat of their own drum uh, for better or for worse. So take that for what you will. Again, wasn't my planned video today. But hey, that's the news that came across my screen this morning. I want to thank all you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. I hope you have an amazing day today. And if you don't, try to smile through it. I think it'll just make things better. I'll catch you in the next video.